Warframe posted 18 hours ago Massive have arrived in Warframe. Previously, it was a procedurally generated goop dungeon crawler with sci-fi ninjas, but the new Planes of Adolan update transforms Warframe into an open-world game. The new zone trades claustrophobic porcelain corridors for a vast coastal landscape, complete with the go-anywhere, do-anything philosophy of an MMO. Why is Warframe going open-world? We spoke to Digital Extreme's Rebecca Ford to find out. Warframe Planes of Adolan is a massive shift for one of Steam's most played games. When you log into the new expansion you can expect to see new RPG elements, new mission designs, a whole new race, a new focus on discovery, and, perhaps most importantly, the ability to go fishing. It's a brave new shifting of the rules from developers, digital extremes, and also one of the most obvious steps for a game that shares so much in common with the likes of Destiny and The Division. Intrigued, we've got the details on everything new, Warframe Planes of Eidolon Open World The new open zone is Planes of Eidolon's flagship feature. Eidolon itself is a coastal region, with its own wildlife, weather systems, and colossal organic structures. We're talking kilometers of play space uninhibited by procedural level generation, Rebecca Ford explains, who is the live ops and community producer at Digital Extremes, as well as the voice of in-game character Lotus. It's massive, interactive, and totally ready for you to explore in many different ways, after running and gunning slicing sliding through sci-fi corridors for much of Warframe's lifespan until now, you can expect a Dolan to be a massive surprise. It also functions entirely differently thanks to being bespokely designed rather than procedural there will be landmarks to visit, locales to explore, and, thanks to being outside, sunsets and rises, it has day and night cycles, which I'm most excited for, Ford says. This is where veteran players can test their investments in their gear. When nighttime hits on the open zones, it's game on. Even the enemies flee. Something very nasty creeps out of the lakes and vast ponds. That's going to be a threat that the players know about it's legendary, and it's coming for them. Warframe planes of Adolan sentience, ghosts, and the old war This new world is a place where digital extremes have vastly expanded Warframe's lore. The Grineers, the game's long-term force of villainous clones, spend their days taking over lands and exploiting them. But what business do they have in aid Olin? They're exploiting artifacts from the old war, Ford reveals. The old war is something we've referenced in-game for years. We all know it was an epic battle. We have it in writing, we have it in lore, we have it in quests, but we've never seen what carnage came from it. The team got to put that carnage into reality with the open zone. The Sentients, a race introduced last year, are Warframe's most horrifying enemies, but so far the game has yet to show the damage they've caused. The new Adolan area, however, is a sentient graveyard. And there's more to that than creepy art design, at night time, dead things make ghosts. You've got to look out for that, Ford teases. That day-night cycle is clearly going to be very important, Warframe Planes of Adolan new race Ostrans Warframe has a depth to its lore that you wouldn't expect from a coop dungeon crawler, and Planes of Adolan is the perfect opportunity for digital extremes to expand it. Not only does the hand-designed world allow for environmental storytelling, but the addition of the Ostrans as a race allows them to vastly expand their cultural lore, they have their own language with its own script, for details. At this point we have three distinct languages with their own alphabets that everyone has decoded. The fourth one is entering the equation with the Ostrans. That will be something people catch on to pretty quickly, I think. Warframe Plains of Adolan Ostrans Scavenger Town Warframe already has social spaces, but Cetus, the civilian scavenger town, is a new spin on things. Up to 50 players can hang out in Cetus, which is the first area anyone will see in Plains of Adolan. It's an art style players haven't seen. It's a new race of people, a new type of lifestyle. It's very scavenger, Ford says, the Austrian residents of this town harvest the flesh of living, sentient structures that stand out in the coastal environment in order to survive. The invading Grenier military, however, have other ideas on who should own that claimed material, and it's up to players to help the Austrians. These people are the casualties of war from what everyone's been doing, Ford reveals. These are the ones you've been working to protect unknowingly. Your actions have allowed them to flourish and build this scavenger outpost. Warframe planes of Adolan customizable weapons and armor up until now, every weapon and armor piece in the game has been designed by the digital extremes. Now, by visiting one of the traders in Cetus, you can design and construct your own weapons from a selection of parts that you scavenge from the planes. You can even name your creations. Warframe planes of Adol and fishing and flying you'll likely already be familiar with the Archwing of Flight Harness that allows you to fly around in outer space while fizzing lasers pop between asteroids. 
but the wide open spaces of Adolan allow the archwing to be used in an entirely different way. You're going to be able to strap on your archwing and fly around an open environment completely, Ford says. Up until now, if you wanted to use the flight suits, you did it in space. We set a level for you that was in space but bringing it onto the ground is entirely new, and it's going to be mind-blowing for people because they wanted this since we launched it. If adventures at altitude isnt your kind of thing, then perhaps Yao will be won over by Warframe's ultimate data activity fishing. We added spear weapons to the game this year, and we also added spear fishing, because what is an open world game without fishing Ford says, only half joking, are these the kind of features you've always hoped Warframe would add will planes of Adolan keep Warframe's 30 million players happy let us know what you think in the comments.